Alright people, welcome back to some more DM Duck commentary. So we have Slate here. Hey. <laughs> got a fight. <laughs> we got we got Angel of the Cards here, eleven forty one. We got MGM Grand twelve oh three. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't think I've ever been to the MGM. I don't even know what it is. It's a building in Vegas. Oh yeah, and you live in Vegas. Yeah. Vegas. Vegas. Alright, so Infernoid versus something. You know that song? Nope. <laughs> I don't know anything about Vegas. It's called it's called Vegas. Oh. It's by it's by Bad Meets Evil. Although I, I then again, you have like what? I think I asked you this. You have what, like twelve songs in your on your iPod? Uh, yeah, I, I barely have any songs and they're all in Korean, so. Bag. I don't even have an iPod. <laughs> Oh, just like on your phone? Yeah, I have a smartphone. Hey. I think this actually, like, I know people play Light Sworn and Infernoids, like, I know that's a thing, but I think this just might be like a, a Light Sworn hybrid deck. Maybe, I mean, so far he hasn't run any Light Sworns that I haven't seen before. You know, Raiden, Lumin, I mean, Lumina, some people run Lumina, Lila. I know that Infernoid. What are the, what are the best, what are the best? Splashable Light Swarms. You got Raiden and, and Lila and Lumina. Besides them, though. Like, Felis has played in a couple decks, right? I don't think so. Yeah, Felis. Well, nah. Some decks, some, some Inferno... <laughs> nah. some, in de some Inferno decks run Wolf. Some run Felis. Yeah, Wolf is good, though, because Wolf doesn't get... Wolf can't be normal summoned, so it, it, it gets passed over by um, Reasoning. And mm -hmm. then it special summons itself after Reasoning resolves. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Wolf is good. I like I like Wolf and Infernoids. You did you? I know you, you talked to Moderate, right? I haven't talked to him in a cool minute. Yeah, is that what he's about, doing? Huh? Yeah, I know yeah. He's he runs Infernoids. Like. He runs Wolf and his. I like I said, I haven't talked to him in a while either. But uh, when I that was that was actually that was around the time that I last made a video. So it was like two months ago. <laughs> um, when I when I was like I made a video on Infernoids and I was talking to Moderate about them and he said yeah he plays Wolf because. Reasoning passes over Wolf, but it'll still special summon it because it's being sent from the deck to the graveyard. Oh wow, we see Mermails. Mm. I mean, unless he's just splashing Abyss Sphere into his deck. Oh, Mermails. So Mermails are Infernoids. That's actually really rogue and awesome. Mm. And these guys are, you know, decent rate ratings. Yep. So none, so. Of, the, none of the top tier. This is, this is the battle of the... All, well, Infernoids aren't even tier 2, like. Infernoids aren't good. I don't know. Oh, damn. I know the I mean, Infernoid deck that was in uh, Hussius Charleston, they were having a hard time because there was too much Light Swarms. Now that's definitely wait, a problem. No. What Infernoid deck was at YCS Charleston? Oh, was that like in a feature match? I'm, I would just know, like, in the, the, the Infernoid presence and YCS Charleston had problems just because there's a lot of light swarms. A deck is really selfish and Fernoids is really selfish, you know. And when you splash too much light swarms in, it can get cloggy. Yeah, I think this is this has to have like Yeah. There this has to have like a, a Some eight people to are ten even debating on whether you should run Lumina or not. The thing um, with Lumina is that it is that if you don't run Lumina and they hit and they play that reasoning, you always call four. Yeah. It's the only deck right now that's running, that's uh, that's playing, uh, that's playing reasoning. So, you know, what else are you gonna call it for, right? Well, yes, you're you're right. Um, I was just gonna say though, like like I said before about um, like the like the, the fact that this is a light turn hybrid deck. I think they're playing like a ten card light turn engine. So I think we can at that point call it an infernoid light turn deck. Yeah. Uh, see, that's yeah. the problem. We saw Felis, we yeah, saw... They were saying, uh, you know... Charge life. Yeah. And that's another problem. If you don't run enough Light Swarms, then your hand could get clogged with Solar Recharges if you don't have the Light Swarm monsters to pitch. And, you know, it could be a dead draw. Um, I just want to point out that... Because I, I haven't been making videos, so I haven't anywhere else to say this, but... um, I thought for a long time that heroes weren't going to be good. Like, everybody was talking about how heroes are going to be the new meta breaking thing because you know dark law but like you know dark law is more of an asset to burning abyss at this point yeah and i i think that heroes are not a viable deck and charleston showed that off no heroes top so yeah 
I think, I, I, yeah, like, I, 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 I agree. agree. I'm in agreement with you. I think that okay. Dark Law is stronger in the hands of Burning Abyss. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that heroes are not a viable deck right now to win. This is tournament. game one. I guess he really wants to win that clean matchup. Unless I'm missing something, or he really doesn't want to get snatched stolen. I don't know. Manning spell. <laughs> he does, yes, he's he's manning spell shattering arrow, so he does not get that one of snatch steel. On him. Yes, I that, don't know what shit, he's doing. Shit, shit, do you think snatch steel will get banned again? I hope it does. Do you think it will? Dude, we, we, we were just talking about this, how there's a difference between... So do, do you think do you think Konami is going to ban snatch steel? They haven't reprinted it yet, so... No. Okay, me neither. And I, 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 I want like. I want. I do like I want them to ban it? Hell yeah! Oh. Hell yeah! You saw that? Yeah, he quit. Admit, GG. All right. No. I th did you not just see his mill right there with the stupidity? Yeah, I know. Why? Yeah. Like even before that whole. Sh you know, spell shattering error with the snatch steel, and you were about to say something. He milled the fucking hidden army. Like, see, it's stupid shit <laughs> like that. I swear, shit. I'm even uploading a video on Mega Capital's G channel where I'm going to be discussing Swords of Dawn. Wait, that's what you're doing it on? Mm -hmm. uh. uh. Okay. It's an interesting tech card for Cleese. I mean. But Cleaves don't even play other equipped spell support. You know what I mean? Like, Cleaves aren't playing Hidden Armory. I do not know why. <laughs> I do not know why. You know, I'm not the Clee master. Klee, but but Cleaves are, like, like, extremely, like, exceptionally reliant on their own summon. Like, they're the only deck that are right now. Yeah. So. Okay, then don't play Hidden Armory. You can still play Swords of Dawn. I, I don't. I, I think, what, well, Swords of Dawn gets one from the graveyard or something? Yeah. I forget. Alright. I don't know. Recycling cards are kind of slow. Like, even heroes only play, like, one warrior turn alive. That's because Speaking they... of which... Speaking of which, yeah. what? We got a mass change. Alright, so it is... That's, wait. Oh. Mermails! Uh, hero... Oh. Hero Mermails. Hero Mermails. Alright. Well, I mean, I guess that's not terrible. I mean, you can go ahead and, you know... Mass change your mermails into acid, wipe the back row, and I guess mass change them into vapor. Who the fuck is vapor? You don't know what vapor is? I it's know the who other he water. is, and he's butt. He's not. He's not butt. I mean, he's, he's a butt. good. He's, he's butt. He's good. Um, he is the butt. I like vapor because you can use it on acid as a backup. Like if you use your acid, wipe their back row. They yeah. chain, you know, Karma Cut. I'm you sorry. can activate it. He is the butt. He's, he's okay. He's the butt. Oh shit, Dark Law's gonna absolutely a, destroy this map. Fucking destroying my card effects is kind of like bleh. And but it still happens. And B like, just because it's bleh, just because it's bleh doesn't mean a chainable way, like a chainable way to get into something that can't be destroyed by card effects is, is bleh. And B, you know what I mean? He's only twenty four hundred. So is Dark Law. Duh, that's different though. This is the motherfucking Dark Claw. Well, I mean, in terms of attack points, no, it's not. You can attack over, like, the asset of Vapors that he came to destroy card effects. So, what do you have to do? You have to destroy him by battle. The asset of Dark Claw is that it's hard to activate a lot of monster effects these days because they require the graveyard. So, what do you have to do? You have to destroy him by battle. So, you know, the the, the attack points are a lot more similar than I, than I, than you think, in my opinion. Um, that's, I so guess that's what makes Dark, Dark Claw. Oh, he used, yeah. He used, Armor deck to get rid of Yeah, because right. he played the mass change on the summon of Raiden, not the effect of Raiden, so then he got to go ahead and just banish to summon uh Harmadec. I like its old name better. It was called Lucifugus. I'd rather call it that than fucking Harmon Dick. What are you going around harming people's dicks for? <laughs> I'm sorry, but I really didn't hear this name. I'm like, yeah, Harmadic. yeah, yeah. It's like you're the first person who's ever thought of that. I'm just like, saying, I'm like, Harmadic, like, come on. I just think Lusa Fugus sounds cool. Like, Lusa Fugus. Yeah. You know? He cannot like, attack like, with Harmadic. Per first perfect ass, then fucking Cunt Shafter, and now Harmadic. Like, come on. <laughs> His name wasn't actually Cunt Shafter. It wasn't? No, that was a, that was a joke. Oh, okay. 
Yeah, and also Hunter get can attack. But it, uh, here, let me let me show you the German translation for. It's cunt, but it's not chapter. Oh, okay. It's K U N T and then something else. Okay, I don't um, know. But I, I don't work. I was that just going out for what people were saying. Yeah, no, that that fake that fake card looked real. Like the one that said cunt chapter looked real to me. So. All right. Oh, okay. So it isn't cunt chapter. It is not. Okay. So don't you have your your foreign first aid scouts, man? You should know that it's not actually cunt chapter, man. You gotta have your German Shit. scouts. No. <laughs> <laughs> your scouts have to be German. I don't want foreign cards. I don't want to have to like worry about not knowing exactly what my cards say. Like <laughs> yeah, word for word. I want English cards. Yes, I want English cards forever. Yeah, it's conj. Okay. Kund shafter. It's one word though. So it is kund shafter. No, it's. Uh, I'll put it in the watchers chat. Yeah, copy and paste that shit. That's all. That's all one word. There's no space. Kundschaft. Well, I don't speak German, so there's probably some. Schafter. Schafter. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Shit. Yeah, for all I know, it's fucking Klee Fort, fucking Hitler, Nazi, oppress your ass. <laughs> I don't <know> racist. <laughs> look at the. Look at the Ita whoa, whoa. You gotta see the Italian name. Dude. It's like the most complicated like name ever. Okay, copy and paste it. Yeah. Ready for this? Yeah. Prepare, prepare your eyes, okay? Okay. Prepare your brain. Alright. Oh my god. <laughs> 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 Fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just take the cleaver and put it at the end? <laughs> Oh, okay. oh, oh, that's fucked up. That is really yeah. fire. Yep, target for gun, and he can go ahead and just interrupt gun. Woo! Yeah, evolution. He's gonna bring out the. Oh, he. Oh, yeah, he can chain that to banish it. Yep. God, that's dirty. <laughs> what dirty? That was dirty. That was dirty what he just did. Yeah, no. I, I agree with you. Ooh. I said that was. Oh, I thought you said what was dirty. <clears throat> what rarity is gun? Ultimate and. I thought she was super. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know. You can check. I gotta record the screen. I'm not gonna check. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm... you don't care. I don't like merms. <laughs> not my thing. I always thought merms were interesting. It's too complicated. I need to play simple decks like Final Countdown. Oh, you're a simple minded man, aren't you? <laughs> Well, I mean, like, I've thought about this a lot, you know what I mean? Like, I've thought about the, like, do I play decks that require no thought? Like, is that a thing that I do? Um, and, kinda. <laughs> I play Black Wings. I play Chaos. I don't play Light Sworn. Not, not because I hate on Light Sworn, just because I don't like it. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I made a video about Infernoids. They're kind of thoughtless. But I guess that the the element of vanishing through front graveyard can be used pretty skillfully, you know. Yeah, that can be skillfully. But like I said right now they're just they're just overrated light swarms to and me. I, I've and I've said it once and I'll say it again. Um, mill based decks, the skill in a mill based deck is is building it. Like you have to build it so that you'll consistently get what you need. All right, what do we got oh, here? Oh shit, big chicken! Oh, this is the secret air, right? Yeah, I think that's the boss monster. Yeah, the big secret. Oh, yeah, yeah. This was this was secret ulti. It's not a good card. I mean, it's good for the deck, but you know, it shouldn't have been secret ulti. <laughs> I I just like I just when I saw Harmer deck, I'm just like, what's up with that price? Like, is it me? Like, I don't I don't know. What's his price right now? Like twenty three dollars. Mm. For twenty three dollars for one Harmer deck. GG. Yeah, GG. Well, between these tier two decks, we clearly saw which one was the stronger one in this video. Yeah. Well, Ooh. I mean, you know, drawing <laughs> Blaster is kind of nice. Back when Mermels <laughs> beat Mermels beat their first fire rival, being Firefist, but now the new fire rival has appeared in 
Took him, took him out. Yep. Turn the water into steam. Uh, you've probably used that pun before, haven't you? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, that was a good one. So, thank you, Slate, for joining me. Yep. And we will see you guys tomorrow with another episode of uh, D&D Commentary. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.